So in today's video, we are going to be showing you guys how to create some professional streaming overlays for your Twitch streams, YouTube streams, whatever the case is make it look quite nice how's it going everyone and welcome back to the stream loot channel i'm your host the king and as i mentioned in today's video we are going to be showing you guys how to make some professional clean overlays for your streams now this is one of the most important things to have streaming overlays this is going to allow your viewers to basically see their names popping up on the screen and notifying you about your most recent followers subscribers donations etc and giving a little bit extra value for the supporters that are actually doing this it also entices a lot of folks to do it as well so it's almost a no-brainer you see all these programs offering you some default ones which in my opinion aren't really the best then you probably could make one better yourself so that's what we're going to be showing you how to do in this video so here are some tips and tricks to keep in mind when you are making some streaming overlays or if you're looking to get some brand new ones some of the things you want to avoid is bulky overlays you don't want something that's taking over the entire screen and taking away from either your face cam or the gameplay you want something that's subtle people won't notice it until they really look and it's a nice professional key detail you want all of your text to be in unison you want all of the fonts to be well sorted and nothing's out of place and you want it to just look really clean and professional so we're gonna be showing you guys exactly how to do that all you'll need is Photoshop or any program like it that you're able to create some of these overlays with and if you don't have access to that at the end of the video I'll tell you what you guys can do in order to combat this all right so let's jump on into everything we are in Photoshop we started up a brand new file save and it is just native to what our stream is which is 1920 by 1080 once you've done that, you're pretty much going to create a new layer in the bottom right here and you can get rid of this white background. If it's locked, you have to unlock it and just get rid of it. Now we have a transparent background, meaning if we're going to be putting anything on our stream, we won't have a white or black or whatever the color is background covering everything. It'll just be transparent. Alrighty, with that being said, let's get started. I'm looking for something that's a little soft and it's going to blend in with what we're doing. So what we're going to do is use the rectangular tool in the top left hand corner and just cover a little bit of area on our layer from here i'm going to click on the gradient tool in the top here you can click on what presets you're going to use we're going to use something that has a transparent ending you can simply change this to any color we said we're going with black this way it fades in rather than having a hard stop line and all we're going to do while clicked on our layer is go from the bottom with the gradient tool and go all the way to where that line stops now we have a pretty soft background that's also a gradient which looks quite nice we are going to press ctrl and t in our keyboard if you're on mac or anything like that you can simply go to edit transform and then free transform from here we're just going to hold the shift button so it keeps the aspect ratio and we're going to drop that down to the bottom so it actually is a lot smaller so this is essentially what our overlay is going to be looking like we're going to take the entire bottom screen away of course you can do something different this is what we're going to be going for today though so now that we have that going what we need to think about is what exactly are we going to be featuring on this i like to show my subscribers my followers and my donations those are the three that i tend to go for you can also do your all-time donations etc to fill up the space whatever you really like and you vibe with i like keeping it very limited very minimalistic to make it look very clean so we're gonna go with those three from here you you can look at Google and look for images that are free to use. You can see somebody say free, make sure they're free, and you can download something that looks like a follow button. You can then get your subscription button as well as your donation button. All right, once you have all of your icons ready to go, drag and drop them into your Photoshop so you can get them here and click on the check button at the this is going to just align all your images into here. And now we're going to show you how to get rid of these backgrounds and make them into a unison color. First of all, we are going to use the magic wand tool. You can right click if you have anything else selected. And we're just going to click on the first image and then go to edit and cut. We can't do that just yet. So first we need to click on the eraser tool to make this into a smart object. And then we can go to edit and cut. A shortcut on the keyboard that you can use is control X, which makes this process much faster. So that's our first image done. We do the same thing to the second, click on the eraser, get it to the smart tool, control X to get rid of the background. And finally, we have our subscription one, do the same exact thing. You can hear the <laughs> windows noise in the background. And there you go. You have all of your things currently here. Now, obviously these are all different colors. They are 
Uh, one is white, one is green, one is black. We want to get this into a unison color. And since I said we're going with a very minimalistic look, we are going to stick to basic colors. We're going to do the opposite now and we're going to go for white. So we're going to double click on the right hand side on our layer, go to color overlay, switch it to normal, and then just set it to white. This is going to coat the entire image in basically like a white color and that way it is very easy for us to use these images now as they are all the same color. From here what we want to do is to get rid of everything else you can just turn the visibility off and start working one by one. We can go again to edit and free transform or we can press ctrl t on our keyboard and just drag this down so it can be an appropriate size. We can zoom in with ctrl and plus and then we can put this at an area that actually works out quite nice. So let's put our follower all the way on the left here like so we can zoom back out now and see how that looks you can see if you like it if you don't like it what we're going to do now is double click on this again and add a drop shadow drop shadow will give this a little bit more of a boldness feeling so you can actually see it in case it's over anything we're going to turn the opacity down to 50 and now we have something that's nice and clean towards the bottom we can move this a little bit more to the left have it nice and aligned so everything looks good in the bottom. And there we go, we have the first one. We then rinse and repeat. We go to our uh, donation one, double click, give it a nice little drop shadow, control T, bring it down to a way, way smaller size. We can actually use the grid lines to make sure it's the same size as the follower icon. Then we can drag this one towards the middle. Our guidelines will snap it in place automatically for us. We also forgot to turn on the opacity, so we will do that now. And there we go. Finally, we use our subscription one, control T. We can drag it down as well. Make sure it's the same size as everything else. Drag it all the way to the right. We'll give it some space so it can actually display the text. And again, double click, give it a drop shadow and turn the opacity down. So now we're just gonna move this around. Remember our text is kind of gonna be floating around. So we want it to have some good equal distance from everything. And there we go. Right there, we saw that it snapped onto the grid and everything is at equal distance from each other. We are pretty much done with this overlay. What we're going to do now is click on file. We're going to click save copy as and we're going to change this to a PNG. Save it as something you're going to memorize and we're going to see you in Streamlabs. Alrighty, we're in OBS. You can use regular OBS. I'm using Streamlabs OBS. All you need to do now is to click on add an image. You're going to add a brand new source and you're going to go and locate that file. Once that file's in there, all you need to do is to right click on it and make sure that it's fit to screen so you can see what the overlay looks like from here you can make some corrections if you think it looks a little bit too big in my opinion this looks a little bit too big all we're going to do is to drop it down a little bit to be a more accurate size remember we actually use that feathering tool that we had so the edges don't look too rough so you can see that it's actually pretty smooth on the outside we're just going to make sure that it's in the center now by going here and clicking on center horizontal and looks like we were just right there. So perfect. We have our brand new overlay ready to go. We have our followers on the left, our donations in the middle, and on the right hand side, we have our subscriptions all looking nice and dandy. So how do we actually get the text to come in so this actually works? Well, it's quite simple. From the sources, you're going to click on the little plus. And from here, you're going to go to the first thing that says essential sources and says stream label. From here, you can add in a brand new source and you can now click on whatever it needs to be. So we want to see our most recent follower. So we will simply type in follower and it's going to say most recent follower. From there, we have the actual person's name. We can drop that down like so. And now we have the most recent follower. You can always change the text so it doesn't look so bland. You can change this to whatever you like. This is personally the font that I like using and make sure that you make the size to an appropriate level so it's not too small and people can actually see. So that's pretty much how you do it. You basically rinse and repeat this process now. You go to stream label, we go here, add a new stream label, and we're going to go and look for our most recent donator. So we're just gonna type in donator, look for the most recent one, here it is. And just like that, we have the text again, drop it down so it fits just like the other one. You can use your arrow keys to move these as well. We're gonna change the text again to be unison with our other text. And of course, the font needs to be up a little bit and you rinse and repeat this process. Now, in order to make sure that your text doesn't actually warp crazy when somebody else follows or subscribes or whatever it is, because some people might have longer or shorter names, all you need to do is to simply double click on your text. And in the bottom, you want to click on use custom text extensions. 
This is going to change the way it looks, but what you're going to do is increase the width and the height, and you're also going to click on warp. So if we set this to, let's say, 500, we can see that no matter what happens, it will start here and ends here. It won't change depending on who's subscribed or who's following or whatever the case may be. This is extremely, extremely important to do because if you don't do this, what ends up happening is that your text goes all wonky and then throughout the stream, it's going to be all over the place. So make sure you set your parameters correct. So it's starting where the first logo is. So in this case, it's our donations and it's ending right where the other one starts, which is our subscriptions. So now let's give this text a little bit more pizzazz. We said that we're going to make it uh, fit our theme. Our theme is, you know, sometimes green or gold. It could be different for you. What we're going to do is add in an outline. You can add gradients or anything that really speaks to you. I personally like doing the outlines because it makes the text stand out a little bit more. And all we need to do is to change the outline color and we're just going to set it to something a little bit more gold situated. We are going to do that. And now you can see we have some gold text that is in the bottom. Now we still want to make it stand out a little bit more. We can right click and go to transform or filters. I'm sorry. And once we're at filters, we click on edit filters. We go ahead and change this. We're going to add a brand new filter and we're going to click on scroll. Once you click on troll scroll, sorry, uh, you can pretty much change this to go a little bit faster. And this is going to make the text in the bottom scroll a little bit. So now whenever someone tunes into your stream, they can see that the text is scrolling and it actually looks pretty good. Now you can make this go faster, or slower. It really depends on what you want. Make sure that it's at an appropriate size too. So it doesn't really touch anything on that side, but seems to fade in to whatever's on the left hand side, if that makes sense. And pretty much you rinse and repeat this process for everything else. And once you've done that, this is pretty much what you're going to be seeing. A nice, clean, simple overlay for your streams to see. This is going to help so much because not only are people going to be more enticed to have their name displayed on your stream, but it's a nice little extra bonus to give to those who are supporting you with follows or donations or subscriptions. This is super clean and easy to do and you can get as creative as you want using different overlays or anything like that. Now, I did mention if you aren't able to use Photoshop or anything like that, what exactly can you do? Well, you can go online and easily find a lot of these overlays that we've just created and add your text into them. There are tons of them that are free to use that you can use instead of using the ones that are preset on somebody's applications that aren't really that good. And it's going to make your stream quality just be so much better and so much more enhanced. I recommend looking some for something that's minimalistic and looks very clean and to the point and it will make your stream stand out a lot, lot more. But there you go, my friends. That is this video wrapped up in a bow. I hope you guys did enjoy. You now know how to make yourself some clean, easy overlays for your streams. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Experiment with it. See how it goes. You know, you can make borders instead. You can get inspired by other streamers and other content creators and what they've done. You can even add text, whatever the case may be. The creativity is endless and it's all up to you. Well, that's going to do it for me. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, leave a like down below. Share any questions, comments, or concerns in the comment section down below. Subscribe to Streamloots. We'll see you guys next time. Take care.